Well, joining us today is Tracy Davis, beauty editor of New Zealand Woman's Weekly, who's got the best cover-up advice. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Concealers, very, very important. They certainly are. Um, they, they really are the masters of disguise, but it is about choosing the right one for the job. So I've brought a few in to um, go through the variety. Okay, so what are the different types that you have? Okay, so most women would have probably come across the liquid type. They are the ones that are most commonly available. Um, they're quite a light uh, texture and they generally come in a tube like this. And what you usually find is they've got a brush to apply them with or a little sponge applicator like this. Okay. Okay, so that's a liquid concealer. Next up we've got um, an opaque concealer. Now due to their more heavier consistency they generally come in a pot like this. These so where are good would you, ones. Where would you use something like this? Yeah, so these are good ones um, on your face for camouflaging you know particularly stubborn imperfections or for using over a larger area say for pigmentation. Right so when you say stubborn imperfections you're talking about Big blemishes. Quite possibly, yes. Pimples. You're yes. talking about pimples. Yes. That the Something that needs that, um, you know, extra oomph, that extra coverage. Right, that feels quite, quite almost sticky, isn't it? It's quite it a is. substantial it is. concealer. With this type of concealer, um, you know, you use it exactly how you were, with the warmth of your finger to sort of work it into the skin and it helps melt it into your complexion. Okay. Yep. What else have you got with you? And then the more savvy concealer uh, user might opt for a palette like this one. Um, where you've got a variety of um, shades so you can match your complexion perfectly. Um, you might want to, you know, match them, mix them together to match them to your complexion or you might want to use a lighter version for winter and a darker one for summer. This one in particular has got um, colour correctors as well. So they would go under your foundation. When do you ever need to have green on your face? This I know, it looks know. a bit scary, doesn't it? But the purpose of the green is to neutralise any redness in your skin. Okay, so if, you have, if you're getting really rosy cheeks and things? Yes, exactly. So you'd pat that on under your foundation. The yellow one is, um, you know how we get quite blue under our eyes? Yes, yes, um, I do. In certain areas, that's because as we get older, our skin becomes more transparent. And so, you know, the, the veins are showing through more. That's all that is. So that will help neutralise that. And the purple is more for brightening a dull complexion. Okay, so you'd put that under your eyes as well? Yes. Okay, now you've brought this brush in as well. Do you ever need to apply concealer with a brush or can you just use your fingers or you can use these little sponge things in your applicators? Well, I, I tend to use the sponge applicator to, to apply it directly onto the area where you want to conceal. And then, um, depending on the consistency of it, I'd use um, a brush like this to buff it into the area so you've got no line where the concealer ends. Buff it into your foundation um, or you can use the warmth of your finger just to pat it. Mm -hmm. What you don't want to do is um, pat it so much or wipe it that you're actually wiping it away and undoing all the good work. And I guess a lot of people would want to have their, their rings under their eyes or their yes. bags under their eyes. So obviously these ones here, the ones that you first exactly. held up, this one here, the ones with the sort of the... the um, the slightly more texture. liquid in them and yeah. lighter texture? That's okay. right. Great, I'm um, going to be taking note of that one because I definitely think I need to uh, check that one out myself because I always want to cover up those dark rings oh, under the eyes. Don't we all? Well, Chasey, thank you so much for bringing all of these goodies in for us to have a look at. I have certainly learnt a lot. Pleasure. Thanks, Thanks so much. Me.